but it becomes about his son's journey um, and finding his identity and sort of who he is, um, his way to express himself. And I loved that, and I loved the idea that Mumble's kind of grown up and is trying to figure out his role as a father. It was a real luxury to go to Sydney and record as a group. And it, I think it, it, it was more transportive, the fact that we were in Sydney outside of our, our homes in LA or wherever else we live, um, made it really feel united um, creatively, I think, for everybody. It also made the experience a lot more fun. We were in Sydney for a month, it was beautiful. Um, but what's great about the way also I think that, that George and the team work is that the writing is specific and they, they're constantly working on the writing. Um, but there's also a lot of freedom to play with the words, particularly with Hank and, and um, you know, the, the, the Adelie Penguins, the Amigos, um, and with Robin. And so there was this really wonderful feeling of, of playing with the text and, and working these scenes out and seeing where they would go. George would get physical with us. Yeah. <laughs> he, to, to, to create as realistic a reaction, especially if it was something that was physically occurring to the character, um, he would oftentimes, uh, you know, he'd come up behind you and grab you or pull at your pant leg or, you know, sort of softly hit you. He'd do a number of different things depending on the scenario. The Kriller played by Matt Damon and Brad Pitt, <laughs> which is amazing. I remember I came in for the first day of recording, because we did about a week's recording here in LA before we went out to Sydney. And they had just finished with Matt Damon and Brad Pitt. And I couldn't believe that they'd got those two actors to play the Krill. There's something so hilarious about that and sort of perfect.